welcome this is the energy vibration reading for the sun moon and rising leos i want to say to each and every person thank you for being here thank you for being back thank you for the wonderful wonderful supports likes and share actually april is your month because you have the energy of the chariot okay with the energy of the chariot and uh, it can be a Leo's but it can also for the Aries but it's a good month for you Leo's I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back please like share these videos and make sure that everything is um, running smoothly please listen to the general readings but yet still listen to your Sun moon and rising sign this month of April we you have four weeks in this month is going to be positive for you guys in the first and second week and in the last week because you have the energy of the chariot and you have in the last week the energy of the wheel of fortune so in the first week you have the energy of the chariot which is also the energy of the month which is successful movement there is going to be wonderful positive energies a lot of movement if you're looking for a new place and that sort of a thing if you decide there is a lot of people that is going to travel so there is a lot of that going to happen in the month of April what is um, really happening for you guys is that you have the energy of the lovers congratulations the energy of the lover in the month of April is going to be wonderful and it's going to be positive for you um, Leah so let's look and see what exactly is transpiring in your world because you have um, the energy of victory and successful so some of you are going to be asking um, people to marry them to get married and that sort of a thing so in the first week for the Leo in the month of April we have a success victory and success okay um, it's using the intellectual to um, uh, divide and, and, and use and, and make a situation um, positive okay in the second week for you Leo's um, you have the energy of the four of swords that means you need to be resting in the second week some of you need to really rest in the second week then in the third week we have the energy of the magician um, this is wonderful and this is positive because you have a lot of swords energy so let's look and see what else is happening in the fourth week um, you have oh god the queen of swords okay uh, okay okay you Leos okay you are always surprising me but this month is gonna be a very very surprising month okay um, as we look at what is um, connecting the first week with the second week um, you have used your intellect you have been victorious and successful over a situation and you're taking a break and you're moving away from whatever that situation is of was you're moving away from whatever that situation is and was second week to the third week you're looking forward you have a situation with the knight of wands this could be um, you Leo's between the ages of 25 and 40 you Leo's between the ages of 25 and 40 as we move forward we're looking at third week going in the fourth week we have a, a connection and um, soul connection with someone who is an waterman, always an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. Okay, could affect you guys. As in the person could be an Aquarius, the person could be a Gemini, or the person could be a, a Libra. But you're coming, um, you are going to be having a situation with them in um, the uh, um, last half of the third week, um, going in the fourth week. Let's look and see what is happening for um, you're leaving a situation behind, you're moving forward, um, some of you. And you know, there was an, a situation where you were working with someone or you were dealing with someone and you're deciding to move forward, okay? Then we have the energy for you, um, young people, um, you have a situation with the King of Cups, okay? And that is that you have a situation with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion okay you're having a situation with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion okay so um, whatever here is, is is transpiring and is happening is that some of you Leo's are going to be working with a cancer Pisces of scorpion and um, it's going to bring you the outcomes of um, a lot of financial abundance so this is going to be good so um, some of you business people some of your people who are in business 
um, whoever these people are it's going to bring you um, they you're gonna be connected with them and um, there's going to be a good business deal that is coming out okay so um, it's all about love it's all about connection connecting in this month um, say it's, it's all about the younger people okay because they're the center of this month it's all about the people between the ages of 25 and 40 it's it's it's, it's the people between the ages of 25 of 4 and 40 this is who these um, people are um, you are going to the people between the ages of 25 and 40 you are definitely I'm going to be connecting oh my god I, I, you're definitely going to be connecting with um, people from your past okay so um, this is going to be good this is going to be very good so um let's look at this and let's understand what is going on here there is going to be a, a, a overcoming of a situation with your partner um, this is a love relationship some of you are going to be overcoming the situation whatever the situation is and you're going to need rest and then you're going to be moving away from this and then you are going to be um, some of you are going to be leaving your partner behind and you're going to connect with a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion and um, this is good because um, you are going to feel some of you could be getting pregnant okay um, some of you who are starting a new relationship could get pregnant right at the beginning of the relationships like you are you know like in a couple weeks in a relationship say um, the second week or that sort of a thing and you, you you're really gonna get pregnant um, in so be careful because the fertility your financial whatever you need whatever your materialistic thing is, is so it says you need a house you need um, help or that sort of a thing it's going to be happening I'm seeing a lot of you are connecting with um, an Aquarius a Gemini or an Aquarius an Aquarius a Gemini or a um, an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libran um, uh, this is here uh, um, um, uh, it's a somebody that you have known in past life um, but this person is coming out either coming out of a relationship with someone who's a Pisces cancer or scorpion or is going in a relationship with someone is Pisces cancer scorpion or um is connected and, and, and for some of you what I'm, 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 I'm receiving is that some of you are still in love with someone who is a Taurus Virgo a, a Capricorn some of you Leos are in love with a Capricorn some of you Leos are really in love with a Capricorn is as if whoever this Capricorn person is um, it was someone who you have known in past lifetime you are now in a relationship with um, the queen that the, a Gemini it could be a Gemini but it could be an Aquarius some of you are in a relationship with a Gemini or an Aquarius but you had a past life relationship with someone who was a Capricorn and what is happening here is that that Capricorn person is now with the king of cups that Capricorn person has moved on and she is now with a Pisces cancer with a Pisces cancer or scorpion they work together okay and they have known each other in a past lifetime and they came back in this lifetime to work together there is a situation where um, what is happening is that you know it's not as if you want to be with this Gemini person it is um, it is that because um, you're still in love with this Capricorn person whoever this Capricorn person is you're still in love with her but the person that she is with in is is, 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 is neat um, on the sense of um, uh, and, uh, you're in love with this person um, 
uh, she's working she has a partner business relationship with someone that you don't understand this relationship and you don't want to ask her because you think that she is not going to say it to you but it's it's like a business relationship it's, it's just someone that she knows from a past life who is in a business relationship okay so it's not a love relationship it's just that she is in a business relationship what is happening here is that I'm seeing that you're trying to make the connection with this Gemini person but I'm not sure that the connection is really making because your heart is by this Capricorn person the Empress the Empress or the Capricorn so um, you know and you have victoriously come over a situation and you're some of you, you know you're walking away from a situation and and then you're resting, especially for um, the people between the ages of 25 to 40. You're kind of resting and you're thinking, how am I going to bring what it is that I want to manifest in my life? You have a plan and you're thinking about how you're going to bring it. And this is going to happen in um, the center of the month, which is the, two, the, the, the second week going in the third week, okay? And then at the end of the month, the, the, the third week, going into the fourth week, it is as if, you know, you're trying to manifest and you're connected with this person. But you're not sure because your heart is somewhere else. Okay. Your heart is somewhere else. Okay. It's, it's your heart is somewhere else. You're in a relationship, but your heart is somewhere else. Um, there is this Capricorn woman has an effect on you and your is as if your heart is by that person okay and you're not sure about a relationship between the king of cups and this Capricorn person um, and, and and you're wondering but for some people is the the two people they're just business partner okay this Capricorn person is like she sits good. She knows what she wants. She's an hardworking person. She's always on her, her, her own, okay? She's someone who makes things happen for herself, okay? So, um, it is a sense that, you know, your heart is by someone else. Than your partner, okay? It's a month where it's a month where you're going to find yourself that your heart is someone is somewhere else um, than your partner. Your heart is really somewhere else than your partner, and this is going to play a role in your life, okay? Um, some of you are going to be connecting with the King of Cups. Um, some of you are going to be connecting with the King of Cups and this Capricorn person so the king of cups could be a Pisces cancer or a scorpion some of you are going to be connecting with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion and you're great and, and, and a Capricorn and you're going to try to build on something in your life okay you're going to make something happen um, these are good business partners that are coming in for you Leo's okay um, and you're going to manifest and uh, manifest what is it you want you have a relationship with you're in a relationship with an um, Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra um, you're not really sure about this relationship okay new love is going to be coming in new love is coming in new love is coming in um, some of you are going to and because this just fell out I was shuffling the cards and guess who fell out the Casanova and the Casanova I don't even want to live it up I'm gonna leave it right here and take a picture the Casanova is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion this is a man between the ages of 25 and 45 that's a Casanova that's a mr. lover lover man that comes in you know Shabba sings the song love um Shabba sing the song um, Mr. Lava Lava, that is the, <laughs> the Casanova that comes in, you know, in it's the Casanova. So, um, whoever is this man, um, 
uh, some of you women are going to be connecting with this casting over that is coming in your life and he's he's riding in your life and he's showing you hey I'm here <laughs> you know, sort of thing. so it's a month of love a month of trying to manifest your dreams um, but mr. lover lover is here I you know it is I'm here you know that sort of a thing so some of you women are going to fall from this casting over kind of guy this mr. lava lava kind of guy but um, yeah that sort of a thing don't go for me cuz I'm like <laughs> <laughs> so ladies um, wishing you success I don't know okay okay I'm looking at the latest in um, your work situation your career situation so let's see what's happening for the Leo ladies um, 40 and over with their career in the month of April Ooh, okay okay you Leo's there was a lot of lies that was told on you but the truth is coming out so thank God for that so there was a lot of lies that was told a lot of lies people are told a lot of lies about you Leo's and the truth is coming out it's at your work it's it's, it's in your career field it's at your work there's a lot of lies that were told and the truth is coming out so let's look at the man over 40 for you Leo's in the month of April what is happening in your career you have the Knight of Swords coming at you. Okay, whenever this energy of the Knight of Swords coming at someone, especially when it has to do with career, it's communication, it's um, before dealing and that sort of a thing that it could be coming at you. So it could be emails and a lot of emails and a lot of stuff that gets to someone that is using um, their power in words coming at you. So be aware of it, you Leos. Okay, be aware of this. As we look at the kids, 18 to 25, let's see what's happening for the kids, 18 to 25. Um, you are having a little bit of hardship in the financial um, and, and, and finding jobs. Some of you are having a little hardship in finding jobs, but it's going to be okay. As you come out of the month of April, some of your um, some of you young people are having a little hard time finding the jobs, but um, it's it's going to be okay as you come out of April going in May. It's going to be getting better, okay? As we look at love for the Leo ladies, what is coming up for April? Love. You're protecting yourself from love. You Leo ladies are protecting yourself from the Casanova. Ooh, because a lot of you Leo ladies are going to be connecting um, in this month with the energy of the um, Pi uh, the Pisces cancer or scorpion and you're protecting yourself from love okay and for the men what is happening for love oh new love is coming in for you Leo man new love is coming in for you Leo men and well, this is a situation because I, I have been saying to you Leo men that there is a lot of situations that is happening and that is transpiring um, there is really really a lot of situation that is happening and transpiring and this is what is uh, transpiring in your life at this moment okay let's go forward and let's see what is happening for the people in love um, 18 and older you have to deal with um, some of you who are in a relationship with a married man or with an older man who is already in a relationship um, either the man or the woman is going to find out about this relationship and is going to mail you and send you a message okay so it's as if you were in a relationship um, with an older person so I'm talking to the people 18 between the ages of 18 and 25 you were in a relationship with an older person and what is happening and what is transpiring is that their partner is going to know about this relationship and um, it's as if she's going to send your mail or she's going to um, try and contact you and that sort of a thing um, you know just don't deal with her oh, please just he, he or she whoever it is just let it go don't see the person anymore 
let it go and move on okay um, we're gonna look at the zodiac energies because we're nearly over time and see what is coming in for the Sun rising sign if you were born in the day this is for you that is coming in you are going to be dealing with the cancers so that is the king of cups that comes in the cancers and you are going to be dealing with the Aquarians so the cancers and the Aquarians so the people who were born today um, you're gonna have a situation that is dealing with the cancer and the Aquarians and then we have the Pisces for the people who are born in the night so I told you there is a lot of um, the, the, the King of Cups is the Pisces the cancers and the scorpions so you're going to be dealing with this person and then the next person is a Taurus I love the Taurus I love the Taurus because the Taurus are going to be coming in and that the Taurus the energy of the Empress is here that could be also um, a, 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 um, a woman who is a Taurus okay because the Empress is the energy of a Taurus Virgo. no it's a Capricorn energy but it's an earth sign energy so um, a Taurus woman can also have that energy vibration in money face your financial fears and it says when you are honest with yourself about fears about um, success or failure they can no longer control you be free of hidden fears by exposing them to the light of awareness and you will realize that you in fact have nothing to fear and that every successful person has struggled with the release of these doubts so you Leah's need to release the doubts of uh, um, the fear of uh, not being successful you Leah's really really need to release the doubt the next message that I hear ever have here for you is obstacles are detour in the right direction okay so this is wonderful so whatever obstacles that was in your way they're all detour um, in the right direction not to you anymore the obstacles that was um, by you is now um, been moved away um, to another direction and moving away from out of your direction so congratulations for this I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back and have a wonderful month.